Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. We are continuing on our adventure towards Beagle Point. This is where we are right now. We've already crossed through the center of the galaxy from the bubble, and we are heading all the way out to this sector where Beagle Point is located. Let's go ahead and get off the ground, up into space, and on towards the next waypoint. If you're just joining in now, I'll go through my obligatory re uh, repeat of uh, this, what, the things that we're doing as we go through here. We're working on increasing our exobiology skill, our exobiology rank, uh, and just making all kinds of money in the hopes of eventually being able to buy a fleet carrier that we can take out into the black. As we go, we're going to continue to try to gather uh, exploration data. I don't know why that word just would not come to my brain. Uh, exploration data on high value planets such as earth like worlds, ammonia worlds, and water worlds. So, those are the kind of things that we're looking for as we go. All that said, I generally try to have a topic of discussion, try being the operative word. Lately, I've been, I don't know, just, I've had a hard time really forcing myself to sit down and actually think of something to talk about because I'm just kind of going through this crazy. I mean, it's not, it's not crazy as much as it is. It's just kind of tumultuous time in my life right now where we're in the process of getting ready to move and do a bunch of other stuff. And there's just a lot of stuff going on. It doesn't leave a lot of time for reflection on, oh, what am I going to talk about in my videos? <laughs> so I end up just kind of rambling on until I hopefully stumble across a topic of discussion that I can, uh, you know, fill 20 to 30 minutes of time with. Now, um, you saw we came in here and there was just one body there. That means there was just a star. No point in even stopping to do anything with that. So we're going to hop into the system, check the system map, check the full spectrum system scanner to see if there are any high value planets. And if there are 15-ish or less bodies, we'll go ahead and do a full on scan of the system to see if there are any biological signatures available for us to go land and scan and do all that kind of cool stuff. 22 bodies, which means that we're just going to check to see if there are any high value planets here. All right, as you can see, there's nothing in the in the very valuable part here, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Got about 160 jumps left until we reach our waypoint. And at around 60-ish light years a jump, that should be what 1600 light years. Ugh. It's going to take us a long time to get the beagle point. Beagle Point is still 30,000 light years away right now from where we are. It's going to take us a while to get there. <clears throat> but that's good because it's going to make sure that we get lots and lots of money on our way out there. And then once we sell off all of our data, once uh, when we get to Beagle, Beagle Point, we can kind of decide what our next goal is going to be. Uh, we could just go straight back to the bubble if we have, you know, a really large amount of money. Um, or we could decide to go out to Colonia. 17, we'll go ahead and scan at 17. That's close enough to 15 that I'm fine with it. Uh, or we can or we can make a detour out to Colonia to just kind of pad out our scanning data and continue selling off uh, data, selling off all of that stuff so we can make enough money to afford that fleet carrier. Plus, I want to have a little bit extra so that we can make sure that we're able to not only buy the fleet carrier, but outfit it the way we want and preferably also have enough money left over for, you know, quite a long time of maintenance costs. So we're looking up in the top right for the features there, looking for biological features. We're looking for at least two, uh, since we're in the first, you know, very early part of, ooh, that's way too far away. What is this? Okay, that's close enough. All of that stuff, if you look over there on the left, 250 lights, 250,000 light seconds away, that would take a very long time to get there. So we're definitely not messing with that. So even though there was probably enough in here, it's just not worth going over there to that. So let's move on. I generally set a limit of about 10,000 light seconds because that's reasonable to get to in a, you know, a short amount of time. Anything past 10,000 is just kind of like, uh, I don't really want to mess with that. <laughs> it takes, it just takes too long in super cruise to get there. It'd be nice if they had like a, a, a way to jump to those stars, but unfortunately they just didn't, they didn't bother to make it like that. So sometimes you're going to get in where you'll have little mini systems like that, where there's another star that's a little far away and you have to take forever to get over to it. There's a station that you can go to. I don't remember what it is, but it's got uh, it's got a very rare item that you can buy, and it's something. It's really far away like that, and it's like a rite of passage to kind of fly out there to go get it. I did it before, but I don't remember what the uh, I don't remember what the location was. But real, but ideal. I don't want to say ideally. 
realistically, you hop into the star, you hop into the system, you 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 jet out there, you know, like a, I don't know, I don't even know how far away it is. It was like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand light seconds or something like that. It was, it was some insane distance that takes you like half an hour to do, and <laughs> yeah, that I, I did that one time. Never again. I'm good. I have no interest in doing that again. Takes long enough to get far far enough places uh, when you're jumping across from star to star. Then it, uh, you know, as opposed to trying to just super cruise over to something. Okay, there's nothing here for us to scan, so we'll go ahead and get ourselves ahead and get ourselves out of here. Move on to the next one. So yeah, don't really have a specific topic for today. I kind of wish that I did, but uh, I wasn't really expecting to record today. My schedule just kind of shifted in such a way that I realized, oh man, I, uh, I kind of need to sit down and do some recordings tonight, because if I don't, there's a good chance I'm going to get behind, and then I'm not going to, I don't know how I'm going to catch up to the heck, catch up to where I need to be. Uh, my, my schedule for next week got kind of shifted around as far as the way things are happening for me, and, uh, yeah. Sometimes you just kind of, you kind of have to juke and jive and figure it, figure things out. And that's what today is. So, while I would have liked to have sat down and actually thought of an intelligent, to intelligent topic of discussion to go over, nah, not always the case. Been getting, uh, been getting kind of unlucky with with uh, planetary bodies and stuff lately. Either it's all stars, or it's all high high con high uh, high quantity bodies, or we get the right number of bodies, but we keep getting these ones where they're like two hundred fifty thousand light seconds away. So this reminds me of that episode that I entitled "Fruitless Lever Pulling." It's, it, this whole thing is a galactic lottery, basically, and you're just try kind of trying to hope you get the jackpot every time you hope every time you. You, you know, every time you go into a system, it's like pulling the lever at the slot machine. You're hoping you're going to get all the, like, I don't, I don't even know what the analogy is for that. Three of the same, whatever it is. I don't, I, I don't gamble. I've never, I never even played a slot machine before, so I don't know. And as I've said before, I've been in many a casino, but I've never gambled. I know that sounds strange, but, uh, you know, I was in a position where I had to go to casinos all the time. My job forced me to go there. All right. This. Right, give us some give us some biological features. Come on. You know you want to. Nope. Still nothing. Still nothing. And all that's left is a gas giant. Great. So, nothing in this system either. Moving along. Hopefully we'll find something in the next one. My general rule is is that after the 15 minute mark, I will generally go ahead and uh, if, I, if we find a single biology planet, we'll go ahead and go take that so that we actually get something rather than nothing in an episode. And then after 20 minutes, we're just trying to land and find somewhere to be down because I don't like these videos to go any longer than 30 minutes whenever possible. I keep thinking it would be nice if we had like a long jump module that would allow us to do a bunch of like use our entire fuel for one jump and just go really far and then have like a cool down after that similar to the way that the uh, fleet carriers work because then I could cut out a lot of the we, we could get a lot further in per jump cover a lot more distance in an episode and I could just pause the video while we're in that little loading screen there so that's what this is if you don't know I'm, this, uh, this jumping animation is basically loading the next system and moving us into that instance. So we'll go ahead and get off into the next one. All right, pull in the lever. Let's see what we're gonna get. Hopefully we're gonna get something really cool. I want to I want to I want to pop that sis I want to pop the discovery scanner and see 15 and then we get like three planets that have like five biological signatures each. <laughs> we can spend a lot of time in a single system. You can always tell when the servers are lagging a little bit because you stay in that, you stay inside of that animation a little bit longer than you normally would. Okay. I meant I didn't mean to press that. Uh, we're doing this. Nope. Nothing. Nothing is particular. But since we're not really finding anything, and 22 is 
22 is is way off of what I would normally do, but I'm getting kind of I don't want to say desperate, but just like let's we'll take a second and go through this real quick. Shouldn't take that long to do 20-ish. Mostly because I just I want something interesting to happen. I feel like we've been going a long time and we haven't really found too much in the way of like super int like we found biology, but it's been all the same kind of stuff. I want to find I want to find some more space palm trees, you know. Feels like we haven't found anything really cool as far as biology goes in quite a while. But then you have the problem of the fact that, you know, just because there's more there's more bodies in a system doesn't necessarily mean that you're get, that you have a, a significantly higher chance of actually finding anything. So there's always that fallacy for you. The law of large numbers only applies when you actually have large, large, large amounts of numbers. Fortunately, you just have to sit and scan a bunch of stuff before you actually get any benefit from that. So this last one. No luck. Oh, wait. That's not what I meant. Okay, there we go. Off to the next system. Well, hopefully we can find something here pretty soon. A few more minutes and we're going to have to start settling for a single biology planet. So let's hope that the next system or two ends up having uh, exactly what we need. The last time I had to look around for some fungoida, and typically that's up in the mountains, but one of the episodes had them where they were down in like a really flat area, so hopefully we can find some more stuff like that. But really what we're looking for is that stratum tectonicus, because that stuff is really expensive. That was like a, that was a, a significant portion of the amount of money I made last time. I made one point. I made over a billion credits on the last le on the leg from the bubble to Sagittarius A star. That was pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna check and see if there's any water worlds, and we're just gonna go ahead and move on because you know we wasted our time doing a twenty body a twenty two body system in the last one. Is that? What's it? It's like the sunk fall fallacy cost where you feel like because you spent so much effort, you spent so many resources already putting effort into something that has got to pay off at some point. It's like, nope, that's not how it works. <laughs> you got to you got to you got to set some parameters and actually stick to it. And then, you know, ideally, because we're trying to balance travel time with actually stopping to gather data. So, you know, 15 is a pretty decent number to stop at. You got to set a limit somewhere and just do your best to stick to it. But most of the time, I'll go up to 16 or 17 because, you know, it's, it's that speeding thing. They set, they set the speed limit at 65 miles an hour, and you're like, oh, I'll go to 70. I'll risk it at 70. 27, nope. But we will, we will see if there are any high-value planets. Let me get out of this thing here. I'm most, I know I'm mostly just narrating this episode. I apologize if it's not the most interesting thing in the world, but, uh, you know, you can't always have a, a poignant topic of discussion for every episode, especially when you're trying to do, when you're trying to publish an episode every day. It's just, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. But hopefully you guys can help me out by just giving me, uh, you know, uh, topics of discussion that you would like to hear. There's enough of you guys following this series that, uh, you know, your your input will be appreciated as far as things you would like to hear about. It can be anything that isn't politics or religion or any of those, you know, polarizing subjects that make people mad. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about any of that stuff. Your personal opinion on those things are yours to keep. Wow, a lot of high high quantity uh, systems in a row. But you see how none of these have had any high uh, high value planets in it. That's what I'm talking about. Even even if they have a large number of bodies, the odds of you finding another uh, finding what you're looking for doesn't really significantly increase when you know you have. The, the difference between 15 to 30 to 45 bodies in a single system in the overall grand scheme of things doesn't really doesn't really have enough of a difference in your likelihood of finding what you're looking for to justify saying, oh, well, there's 30 bodies in this one, so I have a, high, I have a higher chance. Yeah, you have a higher chance, but you have to remember that chance is spread out across all the RNG throughout the galaxy. And just because you're doubling your chances, just because you're doubling the number of 
bodies in a system doesn't mean that you're doubling your chances of finding something. It just doesn't work that way. I know that's counterintuitive, but it just it doesn't work like that. But we do have a nice water world here, so let's find that. Hopefully it's close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's go scan that. And then we'll move on to the next system. All right, and away we go. So we'll get this one scanned. All right, so now we're at the 15 minute mark. So we'll do a few more jumps and then get to the point. We're at the point now where if we find a single biology system, then we're gonna go ahead and do that. But um, I'm gonna slow down and check out the map here. We'll see if any of these have any biology on them. Geological, none, none. That's, a, that's not a, a landable planet. So unfortunately, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next system after we scan this dude. And hopefully we can find some biological stuff because we really, I, I think we've made a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, we found at least, I remember, I know we found at least one Stratum Tectonicus along the way. We may have found two and those are worth like 90 million a piece if you can get the first footfall bonus as well. So yeah, really trying to find as many of those dudes as we can. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money. Okay, we're almost there. Get ourselves slowed down. Oops, and then it hurts. It, of course, it helps if my mouse stays inside the window. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's so painful to watch. You'll have to wait for that. <laughs> I need to increase the reload speed on those. See that efficiency thing pop up. Come on. There we go. I got a little bit nervous there. It usually comes up a little bit faster than that. It would have sucked if we jumped out without having actually finished the scan of the planet. That would have been like, oh, no, please don't do that to me. I have to say, uh, the only thing I'm really kind of trying to focus on now that my channel is fully monetized and you know, trying to get to the try. I'm trying to grow it and continue to get bigger and bigger as best as I can. Is trying to not let the the growth affect me. Like if if I grow bigger and bigger and I get to the point where I have like thousands and thousands of people subscribed to the channel and I'm getting lots and lots of watch time, I think the hardest thing for me is going to be trying to hold on to just playing the games the way I want to play them rather than trying to feel like I have to cater to people and adjust the way that I'm doing things because um, you know a lot of a lot of times it's hard to ignore that feeling that oh man I'm you're, you're getting bigger and bigger and now you have to you have to be better and better and it's like mm. yeah kind of that that's in that's an intuitive way of looking at it but at the same time you know you got to where you are you got to where you were by being a certain way and you know you mess with that at your peril all right, give us some high value stuff, please. Or not high value, give us some uh, biological features. Biological features, nope. But if we find at least one, we'll definitely stop here. No luck there. Still nothing. What's this? Oh, the weird. I'm not used to regular planets having rings. It's normally the gas giants and stuff that have rings. Mm, not getting a good feeling. Hmm. Still no luck. Very disappointing. And we're already almost at the 20 minute mark, so we may have this entire episode. This might be a Snake Eyes episode where we just don't find anything, really. We had one water world. It, 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 obviously, it's not the most terrible thing in the world if we don't find anything interesting along the way, because it does allow us to get several jumps in. I mean, we were at 
We were at like what 160, 160 jumps uh, when we started this episode, and I have to wait until we hop out of here to see. But I have to imagine we got at least 10 jumps in, right? Yeah, we got 15. We're, we're gonna ha we're gonna have at least 15 jumps in by the time we finish this. Must have pressed the trigger too early because it didn't actually go off. 27 bodies. No high value targets. Moving right along. So yeah, we gotta get 15 jumps in at, uh, I'm not even gonna try to do the math. Math is not my strong suit. I don't do very well at math. I know that every two would be what, 120? I mean, I guess every 10 jumps would be 1200 light years, so. Plus another half, half again at 1200 would be uh, what, 1800 light years, something like that? No, that can't be right. Six times, no, I don't know. I suck at math. <laughs> I suck at math. I'm not even going to try. I don't have the brain power right now to sit down and try to figure that out. 60 times 10 is 600. Not, not 60 times 10 is 600. So, yeah, whatever. I know I said I wasn't going to try to figure it out, and here I am trying to figure it out. It, it's, it'll, be a, it'll be a good, uh, it'll probably be a good thousand light years. Something like that. So if we can just... I might as well check these since they're popping up. Geological. That's not what we're looking for. Figured I might as well check the map since they were popping up as discovered. All right, we're past the 20 minute mark. Oh, you know what? We should have landed there. Duh, that was stupid. <laughs> we should have landed there. Yeah, with nine, with eight minutes left in, eight minutes of max time left in the episode, we don't really have time to do any kind of serious scanning of biology anyway. We just need to get down onto a body. So I'll try to, we need to find a planet to land on. Now watch, right now is gonna be the time where we find some, where we find what we're looking for. Why do we not use any fuel? That was weird. Is that like a really short jump and I just didn't notice it? So we didn't have to fuel scoop like barely at all. This one's a full this one's a full jump, so should be fine. Alright, give us a landable body. Give us a landable body. It's like I wish I had landed on the last one. We had three landable bodies there and I just I spaced out and wasn't thinking about it. Now, it's always when you want to land that there no, nothing ever pops up, and you're, you're able to do what you're able to. You're, you're, it's, it's always when you want when you want to land or you want to find something is when the thing that you're looking for is just not there. All right, come on, guys, give us a give us a landable body here. We need to get out of this and onto the ground. Come on, landable. Come on, landable. Let's do it. Okay, 10 bodies. Should be at least one landable body here. Landable bodies are very common. We'll go ahead and do a full on scan since there's only 10. Of course there's biological here. <laughs> I told you. I told you there was going to be biological. Okay. Don't really need that. Nope, nope over here. So we'll go ahead and get over there as quickly as we can once we finish unlocking all of these. System scan complete. Let's see. 
Ugh. Is there one that's closer? Ah, uh, that's much better. That's what we needed. All right. Turn ourselves around. 870 light seconds is infinitely better than 4,000 and some odd light seconds. We'll be able to get to this pretty quick. So we just need to hurry up and get there, get it scanned as quickly as possible. We have five minutes to get down there and find something. I mean, I know the 30 minute time limit is kind of arbitrary, but I like that first number to say two, if at all possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video just to save some time. Uh, and I'll bring you guys back as we're descending to the planet. All right, we're getting our scan in. I'm not really particularly worried about any of that. Ideally, it'll give us the information. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be some kind of bacterium, so I'm not all that worried about what it is. Let's see, I just want I want the heat map so that we can know where to land. We're gonna land down in uh, that area over here, I think. Because this is a nice big blotchy patch of it. I get as close as I can so that when we pull up here, we'll have a nice angle and not hit that uh, ridiculous red zone or whatever it is. Get ourselves down, scan all this stuff, and be done. So I de generally I try to go into the craters because you usually find really good um, you really you generally find very good uh, results there. But for bacteria, you want to be out on the flat parts if at all possible. Now I'm assuming it's bacteria. I didn't actually wait to look for it, but almost always when you get on a single biology planet, it's going to be bacteria. And if it's not, it'll still be it'll be easy to find anyway because it'll be visible instead of just being patches of color. So we're going to hurry up and get down here. Hopefully it's quick. Hopefully they're easy to spot. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so now we're just looking for patches of color. Don't see anything. Here we go. Maybe. There, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. Right, right there. All right. Well, there isn't really much to do other than just find these patches. So we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to as many people as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of perks that will become available to you should you choose to directly support the channel and decide if any of those are right for you. Your direct support is greatly appreciated and is a critical component of helping me turn this channel into a full-time gig. So, uh, you know, seriously consider it. Anyways, thank you very much for your time. Hopefully you guys had a good flight and I will see you 